Nice, nice, nice. The chief himself here, he's a hell of a bowler. I think I bowled about 13 300s and a couple 800s. I'm not a fuzzy kind of guy. Yeah. So I'm going to be serious. So anybody oh, yeah. you bring out here, they need to get ready for a whipping. The Denver Police Officers Foundation Bowl with Chief White fundraiser. November 12th, the Monaco Lane's here. I'm glad you were creative enough to figure out a new way to raise money, to take advantage of my outstanding bowling skills That's right. to raise money for the foundation. There'll be food there, there'll be drinks there. And give and, away free bowling balls, And too. give away free equipment, uh, and I'll give out some lessons also. That's right. Obviously, we want to have fun. Sometimes I have a little propensity of talking a little trash. They can expect some trash talking and some competitive bowling from me. What the Denver Police Officers Foundation does is one goal, that's to take care of the officers, their families during the time of medical crisis, the officers' deaths, uh, you know, anything that arises that creates an emergency or crisis for them. Got a sergeant on the job, house burns to the ground. We were right there to give him cash to start helping them with the food and the monies needed, you know, before the uh, insurance companies got in. There's hardly any department in this nation that budgets to bury an officer killed in a line of duty. Like when Selena got killed, you know, we budgeted money for that. You know, we had one, one officer's son committed suicide this last year, and he wasn't insured for that, so we handled that. That's what we do. That's what our whole responsibility is. When something happens that quick and unexpectedly, in time you go through the bureaucracy of the government to make sure that these officers get the benefits they're entitled to, there's a dire need to have some startup money. Uh, and, and the uh, foundation steps up at the plate every single time. It's an absolute blessing to those officers and to those officers' families. So we really appreciate those efforts.